9 Manicure Mistakes You Didn't Know You Were Making According to statistics from beauty industry experts, the average woman spends approximately $500 per year on her nails. Since nail care and nail art have become popular on social media, it has grasped the attention of the masses, and they've taken an interest in adapting it to their beauty routine. But giving yourself a nice manicure without knowing some key techniques can ruin your entire image or, even worse, put your health at risk. Here are 9 manicure mistakes that are often overlooked. Before we get started on that perfect mani, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. 1. Not washing your tools Sanitizing your tools should be the first step and your number one priority. According to research, the area around and under our fingernails stores the largest amount of harmful bacteria. If these tools are not being washed with disinfectant, you are allowing the spread of germs and risking contamination. In addition, storing tools in a sealed bag allows bacteria to fester. The best way to store your tools is in a breathable container. And remember to use disinfectant or alcohol to clean them before and after each use. 2. Cutting your cuticles we're all guilty of doing this because we've seen it done to us on occasion by professionals. However, cutting your cuticles is a major health risk because you leave unprotected cuts on your fingers, which could potentially get infected. Moreover, when the cuticles start growing again, they come back flaky and looking messy, which completely ruins your look. If you love the look of nipped cuticles, the best thing to do is use a rosewood stick and push them back. This will protect your fingernails from getting an infection while still achieving the aesthetic look you desire. 3. Not using a base coat A lot of people believe that a base coat is unnecessary and a waste of time, so they skip this step when doing their manicure. However, base coats were created to bind with your natural nails and make your manicure last up to one week longer. This happens because our nails produce natural oils, which prevent nail polish from binding well with the nail. A base coat keeps the oils out and keeps the manicure or gel polish from chipping. 4. Applying thick coats of polish We all like a very pigmented and streak-free look on our nails that can be completed quickly. And that automatically makes us apply thicker coats of nail polish. Even though this may seem the best way to go, it's actually a major mistake when you're doing your manicure. Thick coats of nail polish take twice as long to dry, approximately five to six minutes, which is a recipe for a smudging disaster. In general, nail polish is not designed to dry out when it's thick, which protects it when it's housed in the bottle. The best thing to do is apply three to four thin layers of nail polish instead of one or two thick ones. 5. Using Q-tips Q-tips are proven lifesavers, especially when it comes to makeup, and that's why we incorporate them into our manicure routine as well. When nail polish gets onto the skin around the nail, you just get a Q-tip and start wiping. Sadly, it only takes the slightest motion to bring chaos to the whole look, and we have to start over from the beginning. Those cotton fuzzies, no matter how many millimeters they are away from wet nail polish, have a tendency to stick to a manicure and ruin the whole look. Instead of using Q-tips, use a very thin makeup brush to clean the area. 6. Filing back and forth We've seen both professionals and amateurs filing their nails back and forth to get a smooth surface or base for their manicure. But this actually damages your nails and spoils your whole manicure. Filing back and forth causes micro cracks to appear, which makes the application of nail polish look brittle and uneven. It also weakens the nails, causing them to break more easily. Filing should be done in circular motions or just one direction. This will prevent your nails from weakening and help you avoid spending money on treatments to help them recover later. 7. Not applying polish under the edges Applying nail polish around and under the edges of your nail will prevent your manicure from flaking during various activities that include water, especially doing the dishes and washing your hair. When we do these activities, water gets trapped between the nail and the nail polish, causing it to lift and chip around the top edges. Applying nail polish under the edge of each nail will seal that area completely and help your manicure last up to five days longer. 8. Drying nails in cold water Drying your nails in cold water is a widely known tip for people who want to dry their freshly polished nails even faster. However, this is just a myth. 
Cold water hardens the nails instead of drying them. The formula of regular nail polish requires oxygen to dry, not liquid. When you dip your fingers in cold water and wait for them to dry, this hardens the manicure and causes it to detach from your nails since it was never completely dry. Instead of dipping your fingers in cold water, let them air dry naturally. If you're in a rush, use a fan. 9. Shaking your nail polish bottle This seems to be common sense. We think shaking our nail polish bottle distributes the color evenly, especially when the polish is running low. What we didn't know is that by shaking the nail polish bottle, we are essentially mixing the air trapped inside the bottle with the nail polish, which causes tiny bubbles, otherwise known as tiny pockets. We start painting and the polish looks uneven as the little bubbles transfer from the nail polish to our fingernails. Instead of shaking your nail polish, roll it slowly and horizontally in your hands. Have you ever tried any of these tips? Please share your experience in the comments below so that everyone can learn. Remember, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.